Hi, this is Chess Advanced Chess School. Today I'm going to teach you how to destroy your opponent's castle king's position with typical knight sacrifice. In this position, it is white's turn. Black just has castled and now threatening to capture the knight on d5. Notice most of the black pieces are cramped on the queen side, which gives a very good chance to white to attack the king. How should white proceed here? Knight moves to f6. A very nice move. White is attacking the black king. Black king is in check. White is sacrificing the knight. Now here's two options for, for black to play. They either need to take the knight with pawn or move king to h8. Let's go over first. Pawn takes knight on f6. After pawn takes, white will continue with bishop takes f6. Now we see the dark squares are weak. White managed to bring the bishop to f6 and it's now white is threatening checkmate in two moves by playing queen to g4, check, and after bishop takes, rook takes its checkmate. That's why black has only one move to move the rook away to c8. In that case, black will uh, create a square for a king to run to f8. White should continue here with queen to h5. White brings the queen closer. Now white is planning to go queen to h6, which is which uh, brings the typical checkmate on the board after queen g7. So in this position, black plays king to f8. White takes on h7, threatening mate in one. So king moves to e8. In this position, it is white's turn. And how to continue for white to attack the king? If white will go queen to g8 check, then king will escape to d7. And it's not clear how can white checkmate here. That's why in this position, white does sacrifice on e6, trying to open up the king, destroying the king's again, put the king's position again by sacrificing the exchange, taking on e6, pawn takes. Now, the, the, the king's position is even more open. We, we don't have queen e7 checkmate yet because knight is protecting, but we have very strong idea here, very quiet but very strong move, rook to e1, bringing new piece into the attack. We already have bishop and queen, those two pieces wasn't enough to checkmate uh, the king. That's why we bring the new piece and trying to do now uh, rook left. The e6 pawn right now is in danger by the rook. So after queen goes to c4, the only way to protect on e6, white will play here rook to e4, trying to bring the rook to g file and then to g8 and that's the checkmate. So in this position, black has no way to protect against this idea, against this checkmate. So white wins. Now, let's go to back to the previous position. After we sacrifice knight on f6, let's see what if black doesn't take it. What if black goes king to h8? In that case, white will play rook to h4, threatening mate in one move on h7, which is Arabian mate. So black will probably play here bishop f5, protect on h7. And now white will play queen to h5. So now after we bring the queen to h5, we are increasing pressure on the king side, threatening checkmate in two moves. For example, if black goes bishop to g6, then white captures on h7, check. Bishop takes, rook takes, and we have a very nice Arabian checkmate. If black plays h6, then white will sacrifice bishop on h6 capture trying to open up the king and again taking bad it's because queen takes on h6 check bishop blocks queen takes its checkmate so in this in this position if black plays g6 then white takes on f8 check sacrificing queen again if pawn takes rook takes check now the king can't move the only move is to block with bishop bishop blocks Rook takes, and now this is checkmate. So after white plays knight f6, in this position, no matter what black plays, black will lose after a very strong attack against the king. Let's see our next position. Our next position came from one of my online blitz games. I was playing white, and in this position, I continued with knight to g5. I was attacking on h7 with my bishop and knight. So in this position, black continued with pawn h6 trying to protect h7 pawn and attack the knight. Probably my opponent was expecting me to move my knight back because my knight was in danger, but I was planning this move and I played knight to h7. 
It looks illogical to bring the knight to h7 where knight can get easily trapped here. Actually, it is trapped already. I was attacking the rook. My opponent quickly played rook to e8. Now in this position, I played knight f6 check. Again, I'm doing the same typical sacrifice. Again, I have the same typical knight f6 sacrifice where I'm trying to destroy my opponent king's position. I'm forking the king and the rook, so my opponent needs to take the knight. Captures the knight. Now I captured on h6. I brought the queen to h6. My queen is closer. The king, black king is open. I have bishop. Now in, in this position, I'm threatening checkmate in four moves. For example, if pawn takes pawn, white goes bishop h7 check, king g8, king h8, bishop g6 check, king g8, queen h7 check, king f8, and queen takes f7 checkmate. So in this position, black should play pawn to f5, blocking the bishop from h7 square. I continued in this position where I could play g4 and I completely destroy black's king position very quickly. The idea is to take on f5 and then bring the, one of the rooks to g1 and checkmate the king. So this was the fastest way to win the game. But I was planning to sacrifice my bishop and I did bishop takes on f5. Threatening still, threatening checkmate in 4 was bishop h7 again. So my opponent take. And then I play here rook to d3. White is preparing to do rook lift, rook g3 checkmate. So my opponent played here rook e6, rook g3 check. My opponent blocked, I captured, captured, captured check, and king went to f8. Now, now in this position, white is down to two pieces, but black's king's position is completely open, and black, some of the pieces not developed, rook and knight. So I continue with rook to d1, pinning my opponent bishop. My opponent continued here, knight to c6, develops the knight. In this position, I played e6. I'm trying to checkmate in one move on f7. And it looks like the only way to protect this f7 move is to play queen e7. After he plays queen e7, the, the bishop on d5 is not protected, so I just captured the bishop with rook, queen g7, I captured with rook, check, king went to g8, I played here, very quiet, very strong, queen h5 move. I'm threatening to do a uh, pin by rook to g5. So my opponent played queen h7. I played queen g4, check. Now if he blocks with queen, then I play rook to, rook to g5 and win the queen. And if he goes queen h8, then I play here rook to h5, and I won this game. Our last position is a homework. In this position, it is white's turn. How should white proceed? You can share your thoughts on comment section below. Thank you for subscribing and likes. See you in our next lesson.